My name is Nahuel Bronzini and I'm a arranger, producer, songwriter, and oftentimes mixing engineer. We are here in my studio in Berkeley, California, and today we're going to be working on one of my new songs called The Problem with Love. Let's take a listen. To me, music production and mixing and really music creation are all kind of part of the same thread and I don't really see a clear distinction between those and that's kind of how I work since the inception of, of a musical idea until the you know final production and the final mix. And I see recording as a kind of like an art form its own where we're trying to create this very dynamic painting of real life in a way where we may overemphasize some elements and make it almost theatrical in some ways. That's kind of like an augmented reality kind of thing with sound, right? We have two speakers and we have to create an experience out of that. And something that I'm really interested in is plugins and, and tools that enable me to be able to create those things. Today we're going to be taking a look at some of these plugins and how I use them in, in the song, both in the production side of things and also into the final mix. That's cool. So that's the word is there. Actually, that word is there. Recorded just with one mic, and then it has a little bit of a tremolo effect. But um, what I want to show you is how I use uh, the memory brigade delay to add a little bit of width and just kind of like um, like a blurriness to it. So it's it's like a short delay, stereo delay that, that adds a little bit of motion to it. So take a listen without the delay. the same thing with the memory brigade on and you'll hear just that it gets a little more blurry a little more um, spacey if you may that's with the mix all the way up just kind of to show you it also breaks a little bit which I like how it does in a certain way so here I'm, I'm going both for the effect of the delay, but also the color it's imparting and, and kind of the texture that it adds. And I feel like, because it's not an element that I want to be super featured, but it's more like kind of like tying together different elements in the mix. This is something that I added very early on because I wanted something very textural on this instrument. And yeah, this is one of my go-to plugins to create that kind of texture. So all these plugins have uh, these arrows here where you can expand and these are perhaps my, my favorite features, which has an LFO incorporated, and I'm actually changing the amount of feedback, how many repeats of delay we get in as, as it progresses. So it go, it's going more feedback and less feedback, and you know we can emphasize that. Uh, but it's really subtle right now. the whole effect chain that I have here. Um, these are two hollow body guitars and they are they're playing similar part but in different registers just to get a little more variety of sounds but just basically playing the chords. The whole mood of the song kind of like goes into a dreamy space so I wanted to create something that was really kind of flowy and, and watery. So check this out without the effects, um, yeah without the delay chain. One guitar. That's out of tune. So if something's out of tune, sometimes I just put more chorus on it and nobody notices. Here's the other guitar, both together, but still dry, no effects. So the one on the right has a tremolo, and it's not quite 
syncs to the it, I don't know which use tremolos are all the way synced to the to the tempo. Sometimes I do, but in this case it just it didn't really matter to me. I just want something that was kind of on its own wavelength, let's say. So I'm gonna show you the whole chain first and then we're gonna like break it down because it's the delay plus a couple of little surprises. Sometimes I think about you. Dreamy. Well, I hope. Um, yeah, so going back to the electric guitars for the choruses, basically, and this is something that I, well, it's not my trick, but I do it a lot, which is having a delay, and then that delay going into a reverb. In this case, I have the plate, the 140. And then I'm doing a little bit of a EQ afterwards, just to kind of open the sides with the EQ Citro, the 295, which has a very cool um, top end. To me, I, I mean, I can never have enough uh, <laughs> or too many EQs with different uh, top shelves. Each top shelf has, has like an identity of their own. And this one is uh, it's just really, really subtle how it does things. Or it, it can be aggressive if you push it. But, um, but yeah, I, I'm liking what it's doing here. It's really opening up the dreaminess of, of these guitars. So uh, again, with the delay tape, I'm also using the expanded feature with the LFO. And in this case, I'm changing the basically the rate or the speed of the delay of the repetition. So, you know, when we change speed of, of, a, of a delay, pitch changes. So it's not only doing this left and right movement, but it's also changing the pitch a little bit. So when I said, if you have a guitar that's out of tune, just put a little more detuning into it, this is kind of like, a little bit of that vibe happening. Um, let me just play again with no effects. Here's with, with more plate. That's too much. We can even drive the plate. like that. I'm making the plate not as wide as the delay. So it's the delay on the sides and then it goes into the plate but the plate's a little narrower so it kind of like creates like like a little uh, center tunnel of, uh, of you know of cloudiness. And then again the EQ is opening a bit more just the sides on the top so the shimmery stuff kind of gets expanded so it feels a little wider even. Let's take a listen to the verse and, and see a little bit of how the, the double vocals were processed. I've got no lines, I have no rhymes, but I'm keeping the time in love. Pretty words can make things worse. Cause the problem with love is love. Yeah, so here I used, um, you know, it looks like I started with a preset. I don't remember what I did, but many times, I mean, I just go down the preset list and and there's each one of them sounds, I really like there's one that sounds, uh, that's called, uh, I can't find it right now, but it's the broken, oh yeah, the broken tape player. I'm not gonna do it right now because I don't, I don't wanna lose the, the settings, but here, Again, background vocals or, or the doubles were sounding just a little, bit, a little bit too present and I want them to blend a little more and being not so noticeable but actually more felt than heard. And this delay just did it. This is without the, it's called quad chorus, just like a stereo delay with pitch shifting. I've got no lines, I have no rhymes, with but it. I'm keeping the time in love. I'm gonna emphasize a little bit just here. Pretty words can make things worse Cause the problem with love is love It could almost be like a room, right? It just brings the vocals like farther back in the mix and it makes it a little more hazy 
and just you know just a little bit just the right amount just so the the lead vocal too stands out but you get the the thickening of the doubles I've got no lines I have no rhymes but I'm keeping the time in love Let's take a look at the drum bus processing Do I love drums? Um, this is my good friend Mackay Garner on drums, and I, I play the bass line. So all the drums are going through this bus, and here we have the diode 609, which of course emulates a very one well episode here. Um, and let's take a listen at what it's doing and, and also some of the possibilities of what we could do if we wanted to, if we wanted to like, you know, push the envelope a little more. I'm doing very subtle stuff with it, but of course you can really push the drums more if you want it for a different context. I'm gonna turn it off first. Just the drums. Here it comes. Listen to the kick and to the transient of the beater of the kick and also the snare and when it's when it's not engaged those two because I have quite a bit of the of the close mics up they start to poke and feel like they're a little bit out of context and as soon as I turn this on like everything feels like in the same in the same space somehow I'm using the, the features on the advanced panel, which it's a nice set of tools, especially the, um, I have a high pass on the side chain, so the very deep low end of the kick is not really making the whole compressor act. And also I'm emphasizing some of the mid range, where it's at, yeah, the top upper mid range. So when the, 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 the brighter part of the snare kind of hits also, it brings it down a little bit. And it has this very cool uh, drive, so you can drive the input of the compressor, and you know it gives you that signature sound. Check it out. It's cool because it keeps unity gain, so you can just play with how much you want to push it. Um, but it's still subtle, right? What it's doing. And I'm not, you can see I'm not compressing too much. It's just a little, just kind of kissing the, 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 the dials here. We could go farther down. I feel it's like grabbing, grabbing a little too much right there. It's doing its thing. Awesome. Whoa, okay. There's a lot of things in here. First, when I took a look at it, it's like, okay, so it's also it's a multi-stage channel strip, and it has an EQ section where you can drive different bands. It has a filter. I'm not really using the filter right now. And, well, actually, I am. Yes, there you go. Um, and, yeah, this window kind of updates depending on what you press on. It has a compressor, which I'm not using because I'm already compressing with the diode. And it has my favorite part, which is the saturation section, which you can really shape the tone of things. So let me turn this off and show you what it's doing. Let's push it more, see what happens. That'd be cool made for a different song. Um, but I'm just kind of hitting a little bit. I'm bringing down the makeup gain, so kind of close to unity gainish. 
can turn off that module. You can shape how the harmonics, how, mu how many or other tones it's gonna add. And you can route this in so many different ways. But again, it's adding a lot of texture, a lot of vibe, and you know, you can push it much more. This is just more of a subtle kind of tune, kind of like a you know, subdued kind of pop, uh, soft rock vibe. So I'm not doing too much with it, but it's certainly gluing things together and doing something. 